Shalom on my kingdom. This is the brother Lamadia giving all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Vukakwadash. The Bahana said that was apostle great millstone and um Shalom to the believers of Yahweh Shah. So, so pretty much I was watching this video from ISUPK Trinidad and you know they pretty much pushing hard to receive this um injection or this dagger and then this guy he pretty much attempt to break Romans the 14th chapter and he pretty much broke Romans the 14th chapter as is talking about being an omnivore or vegetarian and um and he said that it's talking about receiving the the um injection and he said it means that if you want to receive an injection you can and if you don't want to receive the injection you don't have to and it's talking about fear and it's Romans the 14th chapter is not talking about that. And um that's why I'm gonna break it down the right way. Because um this is why we say at GMS we got hundred percent truth. Because like when you, when you listen to these guys, these guys go into scriptures, they can't break down, and they just make it up as they go along. So now let's go to Romans the 14th chapter. And let's break it down the correct way. Now, I'm going to start at verse 1. And we're going to read on down. And it says, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye. But not to doubt you disputation. So, obviously the subject matter is a, 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 um, a brother being weak in the faith. That is obviously, obviously sincere. And they say, you receive him. And you, you deal with you deal with that person patiently. That's why it says, but not with doubt for disputation. You, know, you can't look at them. Don't look at them like, well, the Lord ain't you. You're not a man of the Lord, or you know, the the spirit ain't on him, because there's different levels of the spirit when you come into this thing. That's if that person's sincere. Verse two. So it says, for one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. And the way this guy broke it down, he's talking about being omnivores and, and all this other stuff. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Now, when it's, when it's talking about for one believeth that he may eat all things, that's a person that is um, experiencing the faith. And he may be able to go into certain matters and break down um, certain scriptures because there's a there's a portion of spirit that's on him. That's why that's why I said another who is weak eat of herbs. Now the herbs is what the, the herbs is the basic understanding of the scriptures because you have different levels of understanding. You have the milk stage or the milk phase. You also have herb phase. And then a person that become more seasoned, that person able to consume meat, the 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 more the more difficult things of the scriptures. That's why it speaks about for one eateth herbs. And it says verse three, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. In other words, the person that have the understanding. That person is not to look down on that person that, that don't have that level of understanding and be high-minded about it. And it says, um, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For the Most High have received him. So the Most High received both of them. You know, because some people, um, they gifts is not to have understanding in the scriptures. Some of them were just granted faith. Verse 4. 
Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own to his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he should be holding up, for the most high is able to make him stand. For one man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteeming every day of life. What do you mean by one man esteeming one day above another? Now, a person that is that been around for a while, he esteemed other days above another. You understand when the Sabbath come in, the new moon come in, the day of atonement come in, the Passover. So he understand that certain how holy days are higher than other days. That's why I said for one man esteeming one day above another, another esteeming every day to like. Now, there, there might be a brother just came into this thing, so he's just learning, and he might still be, um, he, he still may not have a bed on his face because he's still in the, the learning stage, and his faith is not yet fully strong. So to him, every day is the same. He don't know too much about the Sabbath, the Passover, the Day of Atonement, and sharing how, how holy days, because he's, he's still in a phase of learning. So he's still got to learn the basis of the scriptures before he fully take full force. But it says, um, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, because that's what it all comes back to, a person having faith. And 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 believe in it for himself. Cause it start it start with being fully persuaded. Before you start doing, you start teaching a person, start putting up videos. It starts with a person being fully persuaded that what they receive was the truth. And then what follows after is the works of faith, such as you know going out there and teaching. Then you start growing your bed, and you stop getting shape ups. You stop doing the things that's unacceptable to the Lord. You know, these are all the acts of um, showing your faith and a person being persuaded in their mind is the truth. And that's where it all starts from because they got to learn about your how shy first and then everything falls into line. So this scripture has nothing to do with being afraid to take take the um injection or being strong and being afraid like this guy see these guys they, these guys don't know the scriptures and every time they speak they just show how little they understand the scriptures but I'm gonna um I'm gonna read verse 6 and I'm gonna close with that and it says he that regardeth the day, regardeth it unto the Lord. He that regarded not the day to the Lord, he do not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth the most high thanks. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not and giveth the most high thanks. So, other words, you're going to have different levels of the spirit or different portions of the spirits. Some, some brothers have heavier spirits, I mean, heavier um, portion of the spirit from the Lord. Then you have some brothers may have um, a lesser spirit, but it's still of the Lord. And you have to work with them of, or they have to work with each other. So with that, I'm going to close and I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.